Yo, it's Trap. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all that. Hope everyone's having a good day. And we got, uh, I went, I had a crazy morning, right? Like, uh, <laughs> this is worth the story time. So I wake up, right? And it's like, I look at my phone, it's like 7.45 a.m., right? I'm like, way too early. Let me go back to sleep. So I go to sleep right now. My phone was playing music. Um, usually I use Spotify or SoundCloud, but for some reason I was on YouTube, right? Because I was looking for a certain uh, juice song last night. So I clicked it and it just kept auto playing songs, right? So when I woke up at 7.45, right? I noticed that there was still music playing, but it didn't sound like juice, but I was so tired. I didn't care, right? I was like, let me go back to sleep. Go to sleep. I wake up like an hour, hour or two later, right? It's like 8.45, right? This morning, 8.45 a.m. I look at my phone, right? And what's playing? Fucking Jeffrey Dahmer doing an interview, right? With his dad. So I'm like, okay, that's a good way to start your morning. What the fuck? I don't know how it went from juice to this, but here we are, right? So I look at that. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Then I notice I have a text from my grandpa, right? He's like, can you pick me up at the airport? In, and it was like 30 minutes from then, right? The airport's like 45 minutes to an hour away. So I'm like, oh shit, right? So I call my grandma. And I'm like, hey, grandma, um, I was I didn't know about this before. And like, I didn't know yesterday if I knew yet, like I've gone to pick him up before. If I would have known before, I wouldn't have that wouldn't have happened. Right. But I had no clue this was happening. Right. So I call my grandma and tell her what's going on. I'm like, hey, I'm going to be late. Should I still go? Or are you going like what's going on? Right. She's like, go for it. I'm like, great. So I come outside. Right. Didn't even shower. I, I only brushed my teeth. I even had I didn't even change yet. Like, I had my clothes on from yesterday. Right. So I get come outside and it's pouring rain. It's not anymore, but it's like sticky out. You know what I mean? Like after it rained, it's all like gross. So, but it was pouring rain at the time, right? So I'm like, fucking great. Like this sucks, right? I get in my car sitting right here, just like this, right? And I'm turning it on and I was cold because it was raining and chilly, right? So I put the heat on and I'm sitting back and I go to hit my nicotine, right? I love nicotine. It'll help me get through the day, right? So I grab my nicotine and I hit it. And I realized very quickly that this is not nicotine. I'm hitting a cart. Like I'm hitting my cart, right? So I noticed that literally after two seconds because I know what my nicotine feels. It, it's, you know, the throat feeling. And you don't get that off. You do get it off the cart, but it takes a while, right? So within the first two seconds, I'm like, oh shit, this is the cart. Blow it out as quick as I can, you know, but I, I knew I wasn't going to get high off that, but it might mess with me a little bit. So I start driving. I'm like, let's just get out of here, right? I turn left, get out, get out the neighborhood, all that, right? I need to get on the highway, correct? Well, when I go to put in the directions, it's telling me the way to take the highway says an hour and 20 minutes when usually it's like 45, right? So I'm stressed and I'm like, shit, I can't go that way. Like, but I still need to go on the highway, right? So it gives me an alternative route that says 48 minutes. Now I'm looking at the road names, never heard of these roads in my life, right? I'm like, I got to at least recognize a couple of them, like, you know what I mean? At least I'm, I'm by my house right now, so I'll know these roads, but like, where am I going, right? I take this way, I go down this weird little road, right? And there's forests on each side. Then there's semis everywhere, right? There's like two semi trucks in front of me. There's one behind me. And the left lane coming past us is all semis, right? In my head, I'm like, what kind of road am I on? Like, it's a single lane, but it's kind of a big lane how am I the only car around? Like, how did this happen? Right? So I'm still driving in the pouring rain, all these semis around me just spraying me with water. I'm like, stressed out. And I'm a tiny bit high. So I'm like, Oh, this sucks, right? Right as I'm looking at my directions to see where I need to go to like find this because I needed to find like a little side exit to get back on the highway. I'm looking for it, right? And my grandma calls me at the exact time that like, I'm trying to look where I'm going. So I answer it and swipe it away as fast as I can. I'm like, hello, and I'm listening, but I'm also trying to focus on the directions. I finally see where I'm supposed to go and almost went down the wrong way, but I whip it quickly, right? Because it was like a double exit and I didn't know which way to go until the last second. So I had to cut over and I made it, right? All good. Then my grandma's asking me, because tomorrow's my birthday, right? I turned 20. She's asking me all about plans and like what I want to do and what we're doing and all this, right? And I'm trying to tell her like, can we talk about this later? Cause it's pouring rain. I got some mind fog. I'm tired. And there's, there's semis and rain everywhere. Right. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Right. But she keeps asking me little questions in between. I'm like getting distracted, just trying to drive. Right. Finally, I get around like the major semi and I'm on the highway. Like I was going through the exit. So I was fine. 
and I start just flying down the road, right? Because let's say it's 9.20 and I'm still 30 minutes away and my grandpa gets off the flight in 10 minutes, right? So I'm trying to call him to see if he's landed yet. He didn't answer, so I assumed he didn't land yet. So I'm like, okay, I don't need to be flying, but let me let me speed a little bit, you know? And all the lanes were mostly like still wet, maybe slick, except for all the way on the left lane, the fastest lane, right? But every time I'm trying to get in there, people are just flying by, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to push it, right? I start flooring it and I wasn't looking at the speedometer. I really wasn't because I was on the highway. I wasn't worried about it, you know? And a little bit of time goes by, maybe three minutes, and I'm like going fast, like speed wobble fast in the car, you know, like where your fucking wheels moving and you're like, okay, this feels fast, you know? And I look to my right and I see that I pass a cop and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, please don't let me get pulled over, right? And I look at my speedometer real quick, just to like, just a glance, you know? And it's right before the hundred, right? So I'm like, I'm probably going like 98 or 99, maybe 97. And the, uh... The highway 70 miles an hour. So I was like, oh, fuck, right? Like, I'm about to get pulled over. The cop changes lanes, right? So instead of two to the right, he's one to the right. And I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, right? And I see him put his left blinker on, right? So I turn my right blinker on. And I go over. I wait a minute. Put my right blinker on again. Go over another car. And then there was a semi to my left, right? So I slowed down a little bit. So he's directly in my, like, line of sight with the cop. And I just stayed there till I got to the airport, right? But the story's not over. You just wait, right? pick up my grandpa we're leaving right i hate this leaving the airport i don't know if anybody if you're watching this and you're in the illinois or if you've been to o'hare airport right chicago whatever you want to call it o'hare airport right leaving there in a car fucking sucks when you're driving right because when you leave from arrivals right you go onto the road and all the way to the left lane right then it merges with the people coming from um, departures. So you have two big lines of cars merging into one. And then there's two more lanes on the right with people flying by, right? Like going like 40, 50. So it's stressful, right? Now I need to get all the way over to the right lane to take a right onto this highway to go home, right? So I'm trying to do that. My grandpa's also asking me about birthday stuff and he's talking to me about the bears. I love the bears, so I didn't mind that. But when you're trying to focus on driving, you know, you're not trying to really listen or do any of that. So I'm like trying to go and I go over and there was a guy directly in my bo- uh, in my blind spot. Right. So he just lays on the horn. He's like, uh, which thankfully he did, because if he didn't, I probably would have smacked his car. Right. So thankfully, you know, I didn't do that. He kind of slowed down a little bit. He let me in. I waved to him. Good guy. Right. We're going down the highway back towards home. That same guy that I waved at, he let me in. Now he passes me, right? And I was still going fast. I was going like 70 or 80 or in between there, you know? He passes me to the left and he gets like, like, I don't want to say close to the car, but he matches my speed and he looks at me and he looks pissed. And I thought he was going to flip me off or like, uh, like do something, you know? But he's just looking at me in this other car going like this. He's like, he's yelling at me, right? But like, I can't fucking hear him. Like, what? So I just look at him and I smiled. I just looked at him and I was like, yeah, what, like, what do you want me to do about it now? Like I already almost accidentally hit you. What do you want me to do about it right in this moment? You know, he flies by. I'm like, whatever, right? We get off the highway and guess what? Two cars in front to the right. I'm in the left lane getting off the highway. Two cars to the front in the right lane is that same dude, right? I don't think he noticed, but I noticed, right? So I sat up there to the left now. It's like, I'm not going to do anything to mess with them because my grandpa's in the car, but like maybe I'll give him a honk before uh, we turn, right? Because I knew we had to turn right, which means we'd have to get in the same lane as him, right? So I wait a little bit. I'm driving and the guy to my right goes and turns off. So now there's just one guy between me and him, right? But he's in the right lane. I'm in the left. That other car is like continuously going, right? So I change lanes. I go in there behind that guy, right? So there's a car in between me and that guy. So then I'm going to take my right to go back to drop my grandpa off, right? The guy takes the right too. So now I'm directly behind him, right? We're at a red light and we're waiting to go left, not right. We're waiting to go left. So that's an illegal turn, right? And I just kept inching up so close to his car. And I knew it wasn't going to turn green for a while because the other cars had just started going, you know? And I lean up and I just start going like this. Or I can't do it because it's going to be too loud, right? But I just started like one tapping my horn. I just started going boop. Boop, boop, 
oh, I almost did at that time. I just kept pushing it just a little bit, right? And my grandpa's like, what are you doing? And I was like, this guy was being a dick. And he, my grandpa didn't care, right? He's looking at his phone. He's like, oh, I got you. <laughs> he's just looking at his phone like he did not care that I was doing that, right? So the guy gave me a little look back and he, I think he noticed it was me. And I don't think he wasn't yelling or anything anymore. He just looked back at me with these eyes. He looked back and he looked pissed. He was like, and then... You know, he turned and I went around him a little bit and then he turned off into a neighborhood. So I didn't see that dude again, but I was laughing about that. I was, I just really wanted to piss him off. I don't know. It just, I didn't like that. Like it was my fault for almost hitting him in the blind spot, but I threw my hand up. He let me in like it should have been fine. And he fucked with me on the highway. And then, you know, I just saw the opportunity to fuck with him back, you know, so I had to, but I hope you guys enjoyed Um, tomorrow tomorrow we have football predictions week three so make sure you check that out unfortunately i'm gonna have to give the bears my first predicted loss even though they keep fucking losing so i should just pick they lose so then i win but i love them too much so like it impacts my score but i hope you guys enjoyed check out the puppy videos after this check out the gaming videos i play so much madden i'm ranked i'm in the 700s though it's not that special but all right peace out be safe and yeah